Now, here's where the next thing comes into mind. We get this one, like that, but now you have to include those three somehow. I think the only thing that I can think of, think of right now is this way, because then that would attach like that without having to sacrifice another, another piece. Like if I, like if I say I went through, like, oh, come on, like say if I went through like this, this would fail since the block puzzle itself only asks for three straight lines, and this one in particular actually makes an L shape. So that would fail. So instead, we try this because then that connects like that, which isn't a problem. The next thing is this one. Well, that's easy. Nothing connects to it, and it's just as simple as that. Although, what I can also do, if I can get to it, could I possibly do it like this? Oh! Now, I'm not sure. I think the other way takes us the other way. Because I think this this long block right here represents the platform we're on, and then these two just represent the opposite platforms. I like it. It makes sense. Does this lead anywhere, or is it just water? Eh. Buried by water. Oh, well. Does this lead anywhere, or... No. Suppose if we continue up like this, it might help. Run, please, run. Ah, uh, here we are. Hmm. Now this is difficult. We have to get three blocks. One across, oh, four across, I'm sorry. That's four, that looks like four across and then two three ups. So, if I recall, we may already have our three ups, like right over here. But then where could the four across go? They all have to be included somehow. The only way I can think of is just going through like this with the, with the four across and then the three up Right, right next to it, like so. See, I'll point it out to you in the form of a tight form of an arrow. You have your th you have your four across, and then your three up. Now moving on, same thing. Only this time, it's a little more difficult. Or so I think. So yeah, see the bottom row, and then the uh, the other two. Now comes the other difficult. Yeah, see I can incorporate it like one, two, three, four, one. One, two. Or in your interpretation, one, two, one. So think of it like this your one, two, three, four goes down here, one, two, three, four, and then you have your one, two, and then one. 
Done. I don't even need the walkthrough for that one. Now, what about this one? We got one, two, three. Then one, two, three. And then the L, reverse L. And then one, two. I think I have an idea of what to do here. If I go like this, there's your three. Here's your other three. Here's your L shape. And then your two. And then keep the shape. Done. The gate is open. We shall continue forward through this swampy area and get through these Tetris blocks like a breeze. Another gate. Is this it? Where are we? Already I have a solution. But I'm not sure, can I include it in this direction? Yes, I can. And then can I include this? No, I don't want it like that. I want it like... Boom. So suppose this is the now difficult... Hold. All right, let's try something here. So instead of this, that combines those two, and then here. One, two, three, four. You have your one, two separated, and then one. Now these Tetris blocks seem like a little bit of a tricky mess. Oh, oh! I may have skipped one. I may have skipped two, but we'll come back to those. Let's see about this one. This might be tricky. Let's just see how it goes. You have your one, two, you have your big L right here. These two separated ones. So let's try something. Trial and error. You have your first one right there. Somehow, we've incorporated just the L and then the three straight lines going vertical. But then comes the two separated. What do we do about that? Strangely, the only thing I can think of is actually incorporating them like this. I will show a diagram as to what I'm talking about in an image... In a, in a picture in picture image right here. Can I snapshot this? Thank you. Well, the gate's open. Let's go back up and see if we can solve some more. Because I think I spotted a couple. Right over here. Hmm. I think this one might actually solve, might actually be something. These might be separated if possible, but let's just see. There's your normal L. Then you have a reverse L up here. So the only way I can think of is going like that, which makes that shape. And then going like this to create the last one. 
And I think this next one actually might take us a little smaller, but come to think of it, this one might be combined. Look, you have your you have your L shape. It's the same it's the same it's the same shapes as these. But come to think of it, I might have an idea of how this works. You have your four block vertical down here. And then the remaining space we need for the L shapes. I already have an idea. See what I'm doing here? Now this is not required, but it takes us to a new place which we will explore later on in this in this series.